Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes. Today we're going to be discussing how male hormones can be affected by hypothyroidism, especially a male who's been suffering from infertility. So we're going to talk all about sperm production as well as testosterone production and what your thyroid hormones have to do with that, specifically T3. So T3 is one of our most biologically active thyroid hormones in our body. So T3 is really, really important for testosterone as well as sperm production. So T3 uh, receptors can actually be found on sperm, developing sperm, Leydig cells, and Sertoli cells. Now Sertoli cells are responsible for the production of sperm, Leydig cells are responsible for the production of testosterone, and T3 directly will, will directly help with the production of sperm as well as testosterone. So T3 has also been known to help inhibit an enzyme called aromatase. Now aromatase is an enzyme that will cause male testosterone to become estrogen. T3 is also known to inhibit estrogen receptor. So you can see it's really, really important when it comes to male hormones. So as you can see from the diagram here, hypothyroidism or low thyroid hormones in a male can really affect how a male is feeling and can lead to what's called andropause. So we all know about menopause, but there's also, there's actual a male version of huge hormonal fluctuations and that's called andropause where we see really low levels of testosterone. So if you do have low levels of testosterone, I highly recommend you get your thyroid markers checked, especially T3. So hypothyroidism can lead to low amounts of LH and FSH release. Now those are really, these are hormones that are released by the brain in order to get testosterone and sperm cells to, be, uh, to produce. So low LH will cause faulty testicular stimulation, low testosterone synthesis, which will lead to andropause. Hypothyroidism will also cause high prolactin secretion. We often see this in women, but in hypothyroid men, we can also see high amounts of prolactin. That causes a reduced testicular LH receptor sensitivity. Now, why is that important? Because that LH will then stimulate Leydig cells, which will then cause a higher amount of testosterone. So if we are not able to get those LH receptors to behave appropriately, then we'll have low testosterone leading once again to andropause. Hypothyroidism in general can cause androgen, a decrease in androgen sensitivity. What does that mean? It causes a decrease in sensitivity to male hormones. Once again, leading to andropause. Hypothyroidism can also cause a decrease in testosterone synthesis from Leydig cells. Again, remember Leydig cells are responsible for the production of testosterone. Hypothyroidism can also start messing with a uh, male's energy levels, their sleep-wake cycle, because of how hypothyroidism will affect cortisol levels. So what we'll see in hypothyroid men is a decrease in urinary excretion of cortisol. Now cortisol should be high in the morning to wake us up, make us bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and slope off nice and smooth into the evening so it's low at night so we can rest and go to sleep. It's the exact opposite rhythm of melatonin, our sleeping hormone. So we have a decrease in urinary excretion of cortisol, which causes cortisol dysregulation, which can cause changes in energy, as well as changes in sleep. It'll also decrease IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1 secretion. Why is that important? Because IGF-1 helps us build muscle. It also helps men have that drive. So when we have low IGF-1, we have really low libido. So hypothyroidism, specifically in the form of low T3, can cause male andropause. It can cause a low testosterone, low sperm count, leading to infertility, and again, leading to andropause. It's also really, really common to have hypo, when you have hypothyroidism, to have what's called Hashimoto's disease or autoimmune condition against your thyroid. If you have Hashimoto's disease, the research shows you have a high likelihood of also having antibodies against, test, against the testicles. So if you have antibodies against your thyroid, you're going to want to look for testicular antibodies, especially if you're suffering from male infertility. So then you can figure out what why you're suffering from male infertility and start doing things in order to support the immune system, not stimulate, but support the immune system to kind of push you into remission, stop the antibodies against the testicles so then we can see fertility.
So if you have hypothyroidism and you're a male, you want to get your T3 levels checked and you also want to get antibodies checked. If you found this video interesting, please check out our other videos that can be found on YouTube as well as on our Facebook page. We also have all this type of information in a lot more detail in blog articles at our website, iBrainAndBody.com. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this video.